What's up you guys? Jeff Anderson here, One Fish, Two Fish. I'm here at arguably one of the surf fishing capitals of the world, and that is The Point, right here in Buxton, North Carolina, in the Outer Banks. And this is like the confluence of the Upper Atlantic and the Lower Atlantic, and it is an awesome surf fishing place. So today, I'm actually gonna do a tutorial for y'all on just how to catch fish off of the beach for just very, very basic, very simple for all of y'all who maybe don't fish the beach a lot and you just are, you know, maybe you're at, um, maybe you're coming down for vacation and you just want to catch fish, friends, family, uh, you know, anybody. So today what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys the easiest way to catch fish from the beach. All right, here we go. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys step by step everything. So what you need is, okay, so the first thing that you're gonna need is a bottom rig just normal bottom rig. So all that you're gonna do is for the bottom rig, you've got two sides of it. You've got this clip right here that just simply uh, clips your weight in. So when you're fishing the beach, um, I typically go with a three ounce weight. That's assuming that the wind is not horrible. Um, there's not huge waves. Three ounce pyramid sinker is your best. All you're gonna do is you're just gonna take it, clip it on just like that. And that's, so this is just your standard high-low rig. All you're gonna do is tie your main line onto the top of the high-low rig. And today I'm just going to be using um, an improved clinch knot. It's very easy. So you have your line right here, pull it through. And all I'm gonna do is take my line and see how I just formed a simple kind of loop right there. Or a simple, all I did was just wrap my line around itself. And then all you do is you do that five times. So one, two, three, four, five. Then all I'm gonna do is take the tag end right here and I'm gonna take it through this loop that my finger right here. Just like so and then I'm gonna pull it tight. And you, right here, you wanna make sure that you pull it tight and watch this, it'll cinch down on itself. So that right there is just your simple improved clinch knot. And then you just wanna bite off your tag in or cut it off. All right, so these are the hooks that I'm using. These are all purpose bottom fishing hooks, size two. Actually, I would prefer to even go with size one. A lot of people make a mistake of one with a hook, it's too big. So this hook right here will pretty much catch everything. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get my bottom rig. And as you can see, it's got these two uh, kind of things that come off. So it's got these two like loops right here. And you're just gonna do a simple flip knot. Just like that. And then we're gonna do our low rig. So you just put the loop through and then a simple slip knot just like that. The bait that you're gonna be using is key, and these are blood worms. These are sold at really any bait shop. They're pretty expensive, $10 a bag, but they work. They're pretty gross, so all you're gonna do is just, all you need is a piece of the blood worm, about that big right there. There you go, that's how you bait it up, just like that right there. See all that blood? That's what you want. What you don't wanna do is you do not wanna just bait up one part of your blood worm like that. The fish is just gonna bite that piece off. So you have to make sure that you get as much bait on the hook. And that's it. Where's your line at? Right there? Yeah, yeah. I just got a spot. I saw it, sweet. All right, y'all, so again, this is our high-low rig. We've got our weight on the bottom, three ounce pyramid sinker. We've got our bait, got our hooks tied on. And all you're gonna do is you're just gonna cast this thing out. So as soon as you cast it out, you wanna reel in your slack. Make sure that your line is tight. And you'll do that by having a good bend in your hole. That three ounce weight 
should really oh there's a few bites right there oh there we go fish on <laughs> see what the first fish is And this is a little sea mullet. Now, do you guys usually call them mullet, sea mullet, whiting? Sea mullet? Yeah, that's what we normally call them, but a lot of people in one of my other Outer Banks videos like, it's not a sea mullet. I know. I'm like, yeah, it is. Yeah. I feel like it's whiting. I'm like, yeah, there's different names for them. That's right. <laughs> Can use this guy for bait. That's a good size. Just cut him up, too. Chunky bunch of bluefish. Yeah. Or just really any other. Their kale just caught one. He caught a decent size sea mole. Oh, cool. No! Oh. All right, y'all. So that was my first fish right there. These are the blood worms. And whoa, they are squirting blood everywhere. Um, if you're a girl uh, or you just don't like blood, then maybe wear some gloves. Let's see, when you hook this thing up, you just want to. Wrap it around the hook. That's what I do. Just like that right there. And then just, yeah, there you go. You just cast it out and then you're going to walk back and flip your bail over. Tighten your line. Make sure your line is tight. That's probably one of the biggest things when you're surf fishing. So that way you can detect a bite. Got the fish. That's a fish. That's a fish. But yeah, birds are typically going to be eating on the same type of bait that the fish are. Let's see what we got here. Nice black drum. Cool. The cool thing about fishing off of the beach is you never know what you're going to catch. Uh, you can really, you can catch anything. You can catch, you know, drum, trout, flounder, uh, croaker, spot, anything. And the other cool thing is if the fish is not regulated, it's like a bait fish, like a spot or a croaker. Whoa, that's a fish. There he is. Fish on. Uh, yes, the other cool thing is you can actually use those fish as bait to catch bigger fish. So let's see what we got right here. Probably a spot or a croaker. And another sea mullet. The sea mullet are a blast. As soon as you're, uh, lure hits the or as soon as your stuff hits the water you do want to reel it in as fast as you can because a lot of times they're going to bite it like almost instantly so you want to get your line nice and tight as soon as you can you really don't want a lot of slack right now i've got a wind kind of pushing uh so you're going to get like a little bit of bow in your line so you want to also eliminate that that's a fish that's a good fish. Dang, pull a drag. Yeah. What is this? Could be like a ray or a skate or something. Yeah, I'm a blood worm. Kind of feels like a ray. Maybe it's a flounder. Does not want to come up on the beach. Yeah, a little skate. It's tough. 
Yeah, it is. Shouldn't have bit it. I'm back. All right, y'all. That's a little skate. Trash fish. But it's fun. A little skate. Throw him back. So the other thing that you can do if bloodworms are too disgusting for you or you want to change it up, use some shrimp. Um, frozen shrimp can also work. Cut it up into little chunks and put it on your hook too and cast it out. And uh, every fish loves shrimp. So that's that's a fish. Yeah. That's a fish. See what it is. Let's see if it's still on. I think it's still on. Oh yeah. Cool. On the blood worm. On the blood worm. Guys, they actually get what about the size of like a little small jack crevel you can hear him like kind of croaking just like a jack crevel probably really good for their size he hit a blood worm too yeah. oh you're gonna bite i oh. said the hook for you nice there we go <laughs> that's, what we, that's what i'm talking about that's one fish two fish right there oh man that that's cool. hilarious <laughs> I didn't want him to get away. That's right, dude. Dang, feels like it's got some size. Yeah, yeah see Look at that. Head shakes. Look at that little puppy. Yeah. It is. That right there, shout out to Fish Hawk right there, helping me land that Heck fish. Yeah. Had the assist. The hook set. The hook set. All right, y'all. Black drum. See you later. Be free. <laughs> yeah. All right. So the other cool thing with fishing from the beach and saltwater is you can just keep upsizing. What I mean by that is as long as your fish is um, not regulated to where it's like a bait fish, like a spot or a croaker or a sea mullet, uh, you can cut it up and use it for chunk bait and just catch bigger fish. So all you do, super easy, just cut it up like I'm doing here and throw it out a little bit further if you can and see what you catch. All right, y'all, we got something on the cut bait. Looks pretty small. Saw it jumping. Nice little blue fish. That right there, people, is uh, that's why when you're fishing for small stuff and you know, ocean fishing is awesome. Woo! Um, because you can always just upsize, and I could even turn around and use this guy for bait too. And bluefish make excellent bait. All right, dude. See you later.